What is going on guys and welcome back to yet another Top 3 Hunger Games servers. Now I do want to rattle these off as quickly as I possibly can, but before I do I'd like to say these are my opinions, so if you do disagree with me at any point make sure to leave a comment down below kind of explaining why and I'll definitely take a peek at it. But I have almost 200 Hunger Games on my channel, so I'm very very familiar with the HG community. Uh, I'm on abbreviation status with the HG community. <laughs> but anyway, before I hop into it, uh, I did this countdown in reverse order this time, so I went 1 to 3 as opposed to going from 3 to 1. So, uh, yeah, why save the best for last when people want to know the best right away? So, let's go ahead and hop right into it. So, coming in at number 1 is going to be The Hive. And uh, The Hive has been my favorite for a long time now. Uh, it's a very, very competitive server, which is probably why I like it so much. Um, the reason I think it's so popular right now is because... It gives you a really good Hunger Gamesy feel, I guess. It's uh, It takes uh, a perfect amount of the survival aspect in Hunger Games and a perfect amount of the combat and all the fighting and stuff that goes along with it. The only downside, I would say, about the Hive is you're probably going to need Donor if you would like to play it regularly. I mean, you can join if you don't have Donor. Absolutely. It just takes a lot longer, and it's way more of a hassle. Um, one last thing, the Hive does operate on a crate system, so instead of using chests, they use crates uh, that randomly spawn throughout the map, so each game kind of gives you a different experience because you can't really go a chest route, which is pretty cool. And coming in at number two is MCSG. MCSG is also a very, very competitive server. It's very fun to play. It used to be number one, in my opinion, uh, but it's kind of died down because I feel like... Uh, there's a lot more chest loot on it, so you have the ability to get higher tiered items way easier. Um, another big plus about MCSG is that it has a lot better map variety than the Hive does, and you don't really need donor because uh, they have they do offer a lot of servers, and they're never really full. I don't have donor on it, and I can get in the game whenever I want, so I definitely recommend MCSG as well. And lastly, coming in at number three is going to be the Nexus. Now, the Nexus is a very, very good server, but it starts to make the transition, instead of it being a competitive server, uh, it becomes more of just a fun server with a bunch of crazy out-of-the-box things that you find in it. Uh, for example, they have mutation passes, which means you can come back to life and, you know, take revenge on the person who killed you, and... Uh, you're going to find snowballs, which you can throw at people, slow them down, just a bunch of little interesting items like that that just make for a different Hunger Games experience. Now, before I leave you guys, I definitely wanted to include just a couple more servers just in case you get bored of these or you couldn't get into them, whatever. Um, I have just two. The first is Mindplex, and that's a really good server. It's Captain Sparkle's server. There's also a lot of really fun mini games on that, so I recommend you check that out. And uh, the last one would be Hypixel. Hypixel has a very good Hunger Games as well, very similar to the Nexus. But uh, yeah, guys, uh, that's basically it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. I hope this helped out and all that fun stuff. If you are interested in Hunger Games, looking for more Hunger Games YouTubers, I do a lot of uh, Hunger Games on my channel, so come on down and become a cash tag. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you later.